Crimson Kind Adventures. I'm Karen Ahmed. Today we're going to be making a dish that hails from Hyderabad. We're going to be making bagare bengan. Bengan is basically brinjal, aubergine or eggplant and this is cooked together in a bunch of spices including peanut and sesame paste. It's truly delicious. Before I go any further with this recipe, do make sure you subscribe to my channel and ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Now let's get cooking. I'm going to start with 7 to 8 small eggplants. For this recipe, it's ideal to find this kind of eggplant. Prepare these by cutting them in quarters about 3/4 of the way, making sure they are still intact at the top. In a hot pan, I'm going to start with a quarter cup of peanuts, two dry chilies, 1 teaspoon of coriander seeds, 2 teaspoons of sesame seeds, 2 teaspoons of poppy seeds and I'm going to allow these to dry roast. Get this into a blender together with 2 tablespoons of coconut. I've used fresh grated coconut here but some recipes also call for coconut powder. Ideally the coconut should have been roasted together with the other spices. Since I forgot it, I'm adding it now. Add water just a little bit at a time and grind it to a smooth paste. Traditionally, these eggplants are fried in a lot more oil, but I'm adding a little bit less and into the hot oil they go. You want to cook these about 50%, flipping them over. Keep rotating these so they blister on all sides. Warning: Be very, very careful when frying eggplant. If you have a splatter guard, keep it handy. Because of the water content in the eggplant, they can splutter or they can even have little mini explosions. I got two close ones and still have an oil splatter scar on my face. The oil should get into these cuts as well, frying and sealing the eggplant from the insides. Once these are done, remove them and keep them aside. I've taken out all of the excess oil and I'm going to add a quarter cup of peanut oil. To this, I'm going to add a half cup of diced onion. One teaspoon of mustard seeds and one teaspoon of cumin seeds. I'm also going to add one red chili and I'm going to add one tablespoon of curry leaves. Saute this well. Add a teaspoon of ginger paste and garlic paste. And I'm going to follow this with some powdered spices. I'm going to use 1 teaspoon of red chili powder, 1 teaspoon of coriander powder, 1 teaspoon of cumin powder, and a half teaspoon of turmeric. Add salt to taste and give it a good mix. Next, I'm going to add some tamarind paste. I've got a quarter cup of tamarind paste here, and once that goes in, I'm also going to add a half cup of water. Cook this till the oil floats, and then it's time to add the ground peanut and coconut paste. Add a cup of water. To add a little bit of sweetness, I'm going to add a teaspoon of jaggery or sugar. Once this mixture starts to bubble, add the eggplant. Cover and cook. Be sure to stir in between to prevent burning and also remember to flip the eggplant. The peanut paste will thicken as it cooks, so add more water to loosen it up. Enjoy. Thank you so much for joining me on Cravings with Adventures. I hope you enjoyed this delicious recipe. 
for baghare bengan this delicious recipe can be made so easily in your own home make sure you subscribe to my channel guys do share my channel as well as my videos with your family and friends and ring the bell to be notified every time i upload a new video and be sure to follow me behind the scenes i upload a ton of behind the scenes footage to all of my social channels i'm on facebook instagram pinterest and twitter i hope to see you there do take care bye